some goal scorers are hard to convince to do the other things. That the, and he's not, he's willing to work hard, he's willing to battle on the boards um, and, work, and improve on his game. But I think he could score more. I mean, I think he could probably have had a three more tonight. You know, I think he could, I think there's another level he can get to. Alex Stein with his first NHL shutout. Yeah. What continues to be the biggest factor for him? In yeah. Terms of I don't know, he's brought a little bit of joy into our room, right? He's come in almost in identical situations in a brutal schedule. He, he did it in January when we were playing back-to-back, -back, uh, and then he comes back in here. So he's getting, he's playing, you know, pretty fatigued team. You, you, you 10 games in 17, but just coming off 7 and 11. That's as hard as it gets in the NHL. And off he goes. He goes in there. He looks a bit different now. I think he, second time through, he looks a little more calm, a little rela more relaxed than that. He's pretty square to the puck. He had a couple of big saves on the five on three, and uh, it's a good memory for him. Right back into a playoff spot with this win, five games left. How exciting is just the, everything surrounding that and this final push here? It's just a great lesson for us to go through in you know, the last two months, but we get all excited because you're up one, and then two days later you're down three, and the world's coming to an end, and then you fight your way back in. So the resiliency is the most important part of this journey we've been on since January. You know, we've been able to bounce back after tough losses or tough injuries and we'll have to keep grinding. Last big road trip here. How nice is it knowing four of those five will be at home? Well, it's good for us. We've been a good home team. We need that home crowd and uh, and get to rest up. We've paid for our road schedule this year and I'm glad it's over. In your opinion, what's the number one thing that you and your team needs to do to continue with this upward trajectory? There's two or three things that we did really well tonight. We supported the puck today, which seems like a small thing, but I thought it, you know, and I, and I understand Columbus has got some significant injuries to their hockey team, but we, we supported the puck really well, which made us look faster. And I think that was a key piece, you know, to support our goaltender, give him a chance. So take care of the Lionheart and uh, support it up the ice. Okay, Thank you. guys.